Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to close gaps in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is a new feature in Adobe Premiere. There was a massive update, which was CC 2018 for Premiere Pro, so make sure that you're running that version before attempting this tutorial, as the feature will not be available in the previous versions. So what exactly is closed gap? Well, let's say that we're editing our footage and we make a, t a bunch of little tiny edits. So like right here, maybe right here. Um, maybe even we like just delete a clip right here. And what we have here is we have a bunch of gaps and you can see if we, we can actually click in between the gaps. And if we're making a bunch of tiny edits, maybe there's 20 of these throughout an edit, instead of having to click everything and drag them back or use a tool to do that, what we can do is all we have to do is go up to sequence and then down to close gap. And you'll notice that it locks the gap backwards like so. It removes all the gaps and it locks the footage so that they're one right after the other. And like I said, this is really important, especially if you're making small adjustments, just to make sure that your whole, your, you know, your entire sequence is put together and there's no black space. It can also speed up some things. So if we go up here into edit and then down to keyboard shortcuts, by default, it actually doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. So if we go to close gap, you'll notice that I just threw this one on earlier just to test it out. Um, but you can add really anything you want here. So if I hold down the shift key, we can see that shift B and N are available or shift three, or if we want like shift control, we have some areas available. Shift alt, we have a ton of room available. So we could go like, let's go shift alt Z. So all we have to do is search for close gap, click right here and then go shift alt Z and we can assign it into the uh, sort of the place right here. Then click okay. And then now if we make any tiny adjustments, like so, we can just quickly click Shift Alt Z and it'll bring that footage back down and you know wherever we want. So you know we can just keep making t tiny adjustments here and then just hit our keyboard shortcut and it's going to fix it for us like so. And so that's just, it's a tiny adjustment and it's one of the small features of this big update, but I thought that it was something that's fun and something that you know can actually improve your workflow. So I wanted to cover that. And I'm gonna be covering a lot of the other effects and the sort of additions as well. But that is gonna be it on this tutorial. Really, really simple to do. All you have to do is go up to sequence and then close gap. And if you wanna attach a keyboard shortcut, just go into edit keyboard shortcuts and throw any keyboard shortcut on there that you want. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, see ya.